bum 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 the peter dislike show bum 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 when i was in sixth grade my sixth grade science teacher had brought up an example of what could go wrong if you just uh, do uh, randomly mix various chemicals together. We were doing some kind of science experiment, and he brought up to, uh, just uh, an example of a bad experiment he had accidentally done. He had been cleaning the toilet a few weeks ago and had accidentally mixed ammonia and bleach, and it created a toxic gas, and he had to go hide out at a friend's house until the fumes had dissipated and at the time he said it i didn't know what ammonia was i thought he had said pneumonia and the reason i thought he had said pneumonia was because not long before that incident i had a classmate who was out sick with pneumonia and so i thought he had a family member who had pneumonia had vomited or something and he tried to clean it up with bleach i thought that's what he meant uh, I, as, I, I couldn't understand why he would describe that as mixing stuff, though. So I didn't really understand it until a few more weeks later. See, when, when I was in sixth grade, we used to have counselors come talk to us about the dangers of, among other things, smoking, drinking, drugs, among other stuff. And um, the counselor had brought up a list of a long list of toxic chemicals that can be found in cigarettes and where else they can be found right and among one of them was ammonia and so it said it was in household cleaners and then there were other chemicals like benzene there it, it's found in uh i can't remember coal tar or something like that and um formaldehyde and um among other things and so I, I thought to myself, oh, that's what my sixth grade teacher was, a science teacher was talking about. And it dawned on me that cigarette paper is also bleached. And so uh, I thought that's ammonia and bleach right there in a cigarette. I thought that's why smoking was bad for you. And I really love my sixth grade science teacher. And it made me never want to smoke, ever smoke. And... Um, uh, but I, I thought that was kind of the wrong approach, though, in my opinion. Because you got a bunch of impressionable 6th graders. What kind of 6th grader wouldn't want to smoke a cocktail of ammonia, bleach, uh, frog preservative? What else is in there? Uh, 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 in insecticide. Oh, and nuclear fuel initiator. Polonium-210 is in there as well, right? What kind of, what kind of impressionable 6th grader wouldn't want to smoke a cocktail of that, right? I wish the lesson would be that when you're hooked on smoking, everything is going to be interrupted by cigarette cravings, right? And so a sixth grader might be concerned. He's going on his first date, and it's being interrupted by him needing to go out to go smoke, or you go to a job interview, and you can't wait to get out of there to smoke. I think that would, that would hit, hit the message home a lot better with a lot of sixth graders. But my sixth grade teacher was talking about the dangers of randomly doing stuff, and he used the example of ammonia and bleach, but I like to think of ammonia and bleach as two things that just don't go together, right? So life has a ton of these ammonia and bleaches, right? So for example, distracted driving or mixing various uh, uh, issues at the workplace, right? Uh, politics at the workplace, right? Uh, life is full of ammonia and bleach, if you will, right? So that was a really good example. And it made me never want to try smoking, so that was good. This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum 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 The Peter Dis The Peter Dislike Show Bum 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 The Peter Dislike Show Bum 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 bum